It's another day to be clashing. Well, thanks to a new clan, so a, a guy on YouTube commented on my page and said, hey, can you record my P.E.K.K.A. Walk low-level heroes? And I said yes, so thank you for letting me come, Chief Red. So let's break it down. This is the P.E.K.K.A. Walk now. This is low-level heroes. I already did a video before, and he just wanted to say it works. I've been getting a lot of comments that this strategy works at Town Hall 9. Look at this. Max Town Hall 9 defenses, and he's able to take this down. Now, he's bringing in three heals. Be sure to stay to the end, guys. I show you a fail um, and not how to do the P.E.K.K.A. So watch to the end. A little late on the those uh, healers, break them. I mean, put them down immediately, and especially the wall breakers. So they could those King and P.E.K.K.A.s could have passed south to that elixir. I mean, it could have P.E.K.K.A.s do not go to walls generally. So unfortunate there. So make sure you get those wall breakers down immediately. Now this was a three star attack, but a couple things to note. Late on the rage, you should already place the rage right now. Those bowlers need to be rage plus the pekkas. So really late on the rage plus the final thing is the jump spell. Wrong placement on the jump spell. Put it in the core. If you put it in the core there, that gets three, uh, four compartments that you'll be able to touch with that one jump. The other one only got three. So just plan ahead, guys, before you place your jump spell to get as many compartments as possible because what happens is those P.E.K.K.A.s, look, that one P.E.K.K.A.'s way to the side all by himself. They get, you know, they just go to the nearest structure, so they need the jump to help them out. But this was a great attack. Chief Red knows what he's doing. Again, this is a great strategy to use. And he's very patient with the heal. Notice he waited uh, until after that giant bomb and all she wrote from here on out. Make sure though you save wizards for the end. Uh, he placed three wizards to the south. He didn't need three wizards to the south. Put some up to the north there, but just make sure you have wizards. It doesn't matter. I mean, he got the three star. Awesome attack. Way to go. Thanks again, guys. I mean, for this great attack video. Visit this clan. If you're, they're a clan from uh, the Holland, I believe. Uh, so, um, make sure you visit them if you're in that area. Give them a shout out. So this is the failed attack here. What went wrong? Now, obviously, he's creating this funnel. Great baby dragons are perfect for this. And the key here, though, again, drop those heals immediately. First off, he has four heals. You don't need four. At most, three. I say two would be good too. Just as long as you have enough cleanup troops, either less hogs or three heal and more wizards. So right now you need to already drop the wall breakers. He doesn't even have wall breakers. You have to bring wall breakers at the first, either wall breakers or two jump. I mean, either one. So what happens is all the wall breakers, I mean, the, the that one P.E.K.K.A. there is being destroyed and there's no rage again. He's late on the rage. Drop that rage. It's okay to be um, dropping immediately. You need the bowlers there. And so what happens on this attack and why it failed, and this is the danger of the P.E.K.K.A. walk, guys. If you don't create that funnel and make bring in the wall breakers or jump spells, this is what happens. The king and the P.E.K.K.A.s go around the base. Everything gets lost, and you can tell right now the raid is over. It's not going to get a three star. So this is the danger of it, but how do you account for it? Bring some, bring a baby dragon, bring extra wizards, just any way to create that funnel. And in fact, I would not have come in from that angle. I would have come in from a different angle. Let's break it down. Let me show you how I would have come in. Uh, let me find the video again. Got to go in here, find Chief Red. Uh, let's see, replay two. So where would, you, where would I come in? You wanna make the jump spell at the most opportune moment. So you wanna place the jump spell you can tell right to the right of the clan castle. He came on this side, he came on the west side, but with one jump spell, you only get three compartments. That's not enough, not good enough. On that right there, you get four compartments. One, two, three, four with one jump. So all you have to do is bring enough wall breakers, maybe seven, six or seven, eight, uh, to make sure the peck is going to the core. Anyways, great stuff. Again, if y'all have videos you want me to review, uh, just send me a comment on YouTube, uh, Twitter or whatever um, Friend me somehow and I can come to your clan and show you highlight your attacks Any cool attacks you have or just input you need just let me know and I'll be glad to do it uh, Guys, thanks again for watching Pekka on clash on we'll see you next time Halo 